The future of cyberpunk is looking brighter than ever before, as CDPR recently published their Q3 report, where they detail just how well the company is faring as of this moment. Now, most of you probably already know by now that the anime adaptation that aired on Netflix this year, Cyberpunk Edgerunners, helped revitalize Cyberpunk 2077, with the game reaching the Steam charts of most played games in September and October. And now, in total, Cyberpunk 2077 has been purchased by over 20 million players at the end of September. Which is just absolutely insane. I'm telling you, it's absolutely insane. Considering the shape that the game was in upon release. Meaning that CDPR has done a lot to make the game better overall. I mean, I should know. I purchased the game day one, and I can absolutely see the improvements CDPR has made from then until now. But naturally, because of the success of Edge Runners, thousands, if not millions, of fans, both old and new, all over the world, have been wondering if there'll be more media like Cyberpunk Edge Runners in the future, like a season two. Speaking of which, the Japanese country manager for CDPR, Satoru Honma, stated in October that there were no actual plans for a season two of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. And even if they did have plans, this wouldn't mean that they'd make a season two, considering how the story progressed in the show. However, during the Q3 report this November, CDPR's senior vice president of business, Mikhail Novakovsky, was asked whether CDPR are planning for a second season of Edge Runners, to which he responded with, We are not confirming any specific plans for a second season of Edge Runners or anything super specifically. Upon which he then added, We have an appetite to do more in the transmedia space, so in linear visual animation or live action. And those plans have not changed, so when we are ready, you may expect to see more announcements in that regard coming from us. So in essence, while CDPR hasn't actually confirmed that they're working on a season 2 of Edge Runners, they're definitely planning for other stuff that might be similar to what we saw in Edge Runners. My personal guess would be something like maybe another cyberpunk animated TV show, but this time by a different name and a new cast of characters and maybe even comics and live action stuff. But again, those are just my guesses, so take those with a grain of salt. Now, what's really important about the Q3 report is that it provided us with a deeper insight to just how much of an impact Cyberpunk Edgerunners and the Edgerunners update had on CDPR's earnings, and because of that, we can make some educated guesses on what the future of the company and the overall Cyberpunk franchise may look like. Now, if we take a look at the official presentation from CDPR, we can see that even despite the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 in 2020, it just does not compare to the profit they made in 2022, represented by the green part of these bars. So yeah, just looking at the success that CDPR has had from Edge Runners and the Cyberpunk 2077 revival, it is pretty clear that Cyberpunk is a really valuable brand right now, and what we're seeing now is just the beginning of what could be an incredibly long-lived video game franchise. Which, let's be honest, was something that most people just didn't think would be a possibility last year. It's also important to point out that CDPR are starting to ramp up resources on their new projects as Cyberpunk 2077 is getting more and more stable. And as a fan of the Cyberpunk franchise, it's just great to see how much work they're putting into Cyberpunk's expansion, Phantom Liberty, that's due to release sometime next year. And if you're wondering, no, we haven't gotten a release date for Phantom Liberty just yet. Of course, we also have the next-gen update for The Witcher 3 to look forward to this December, and if the update is as impressive as it sounds, then we can expect CDPR to have an even bigger year of success than they already have. Anyway, that's it for today. Leave those thoughts down below, and as always, have a great day.